In this After Effects tutorial, we will be going to creating these effects. So this is my first After Effects tutorial. So let's get started. So it's look awesome. Now jump into After Effects. Now create a new composition of Full HD to 1920 pixels. To 1080. Now set the frames per second to 25 and color to black of 12 seconds. Now add the new text layer and write any name. So first change the fonts to beer hugs. So I will give the font link in the description. Now type anything you want. So I am typing Ashraf Productions Presents. So you can also type anything. Now change the customize your text as per your now increase the font size as per your now I am changing the font size you can change it as per your request or as per your opinion so it means that how it looks good to you it depends upon you right now change this by down now this also presents under the productions so basically this style looks good so i am trying this now i'll center all the text by dragging this all to the center now what i have to do is import click on the import files and import these all four files i will give the link in the description from there you can easily download it now select all the files and click on open so you can see that the files are opening now what to do is select the wall background yeah now select the wall background and drag it upon the text layer now you can see that now press s on your keyboard and reduce the scale as per your so that it covers all it yeah it's okay now the close close it by pressing s now select the uh, image layer and go to the effect go to the color correction and go to the tint now select the same layer go to the effect go to the color correction and choose curves now give the curves like this so that it gets some shadowing color yeah yeah it's look perfect yeah it's look perfect now what I have to do is change the track mat to luma mat if you don't get the track mat press f4 on your keyboard now choose the track mat to luma mat of the text layer now you can see that it has been converted now choose both layers and right click on it and pre-compose and name it has text now choose move all the contributes yeah now you can see that both layers are in one now you can see that yeah it's perfect now go to the project window select the smoke one layer and drag it drop on the text one layer now change it to screen screen it yeah now let's play it and see how it will be yeah it's look good now choose the smoke layer and drag upon the text layer so that the smoke should be on the text yeah it's look perfect yeah now choose the uh, yeah now go select the smoke layer and go to the effect color correction and levels now increase the brightness of this smoke a little bit yeah a little more a little less yeah now you can see that it's look perfect now select the test layer and track mat to luma mat yeah now you can see that press 0 to retribute so i think it's taking a quite long time so i will render the frame so that it looks something so we will wait the rendering of frame is going on yeah now you can see that you will get these effect for doing that and it's look awesome now what i have to do is go to the project window oh no before that clear a news solid layer and name is at light 
and the color should be white so the color should be white yeah now click on ok now choose the ellipse tool from the bar or you can press Q on your keyboard to change the tool now make an ellipse on that layer now press F on your keyboard and increase the fader amount you can increase it up to so that it light appears yeah that's look perfect now close that bar yeah now create another solid this time name it as mask and make it black click ok ok now select the titles and action save grid lines now select the rectangle tool or you can press Q on your keyboard now draw a mask upon this layer like this yeah now change the mode to subtract yeah now close it now select all the layer before that you have to select smoke layer and the text layer and pre-compose it and select move all the attributes and click ok now you have to bring down the light layer now after that now after that select the mask layer and press s on your keyboard and bring the timeline to the first now create a keyframe and go to the end of the timeline and change it to 120 yeah now close that now what to do is go to the project window and select the smoke to layer and drop it above the light layer now change the mode to screen yeah now after selecting go to the effect layer effect go to the color correction and go to the curves now do the curving as i am doing slide it just before so that the darkness in that increases yeah it's good perfect yeah now what i have to do is mm, now all said that yeah now what i have to do is so select the now increase it little bit down yeah it's good perfect i think so let's see preview it's loading yeah now it's look good you can see that now create a new adjustment layer and select the adjustment layer go to the effect go to the color correction go to the color correction and choose curves now do the curving as i am doing so that the brightness of the layer should increases yeah now yeah now same again go to the effect select the same adjustment layer go to the effect go to the blur and sharpen and select sharpen now make the sharpen to 25 or 20 as per your video request now go select the same layer go to the blur and sharpen and select the fast blur now bring down the adjustment layer down now change the blurness to 50 and create a keyframe there or you can increase that first you have to bring your timeline to the first now set the blurness to 50 and create a keyframe upon that yeah now move a little bit two seconds or one second now decrease the blurness to zero yeah that's look perfect i think so let's see preview yeah now what i have to do is go to the project window and select the particles and drag it upon the mask comp and choose it to make it to screen yeah screen yeah that's click on the screen yeah now you can see that particles appearing on there now select all the layers and right click click on the pre-compose now click on move all the attributes and select it final and click on ok now 
yeah it's look perfect i think so now go to the end of that not to the end a little bit behind the end now press t on your keyboard so that it brings up at the opacity now get a keyframe and go to the last at the end of the timeline now decrease the opacity to 0 yeah that's it yeah you can see that it's create 0 to kick 0 to retribute and it's ready money i think it's take a quite better time so hope you guys enjoyed this after effects tutorial it's my first of your tutorials so if you want more tutorials so let me know in the comment section below if you like this please hit the like button and i am also linking down the project file link if you want you can download it so that's it for this video hope you guys loved and yeah here you can see this is a final preview let's see that it's look awesome i think so yeah so that's it please give me a like comment share and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because more are coming soon and and i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care and yeah goodbye Time to get stuck in the air